see that thing. Our first thing we're going to do is talk about uh, maple syrup and uh, how, how we. Uh, how we... No one knows a lot about yeah, this. I, uh, he does it. Oh, I, you're, you're going to answer a lot of questions yeah. because we want you to answer a lot of questions. Something. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yep, now bring this on. There you go. Very nice. We've trapped yeah, the tree, collected the sap, filtered the sap. Now we're boiling the sap. And now we're going to boil the sap. Oh, Standing on just like the rug over there, just like the rug under your feet here. That's how we make a rug. Ready for the beater bar? Okay, heat it once, and then I switch, heat it again. Okay, so here they are. This is what we're having for lunch today, uh -huh. our homemade baked beans. Yeah. Do you want to smell? No. No? Yeah. Smell? Okay. Yeah. 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 Get those muscles going, it's hard work. Especially a heavy shirt like this, but he's doing fine. So if you wanted to plant corn in your field in the 1820s, this is how you did it. You filled your corn and you... These here, anybody know what these are for? What? For cow milk. For cow milk, exactly. Put your piece of wood in there. You hold it with your foot, it locks it tight. And then you cut it. You use your draw knife. So I need a line of kids there and a line of kids here, Paul. And then right. Fried bread is yummy. And if it tastes a little different, has a little stronger taste. And um, it is made with rye. Flour. I'm mixing up the meat and then I love this one. I love this one. So this building, this whole building, oh! <laughs> watch you. This whole building was used to grind wheat and to sift it. Okay? So you fill it up and then sift and then look. You're gonna use your eyes and you're, you can feel the flour as it comes out. And when you're done, put the flour sifter back and you can go over it by Dan, by the steps, and he's gonna take you inside the mill. Okay. So the first thing they needed around here that there was a real need for was a sawmill. And outside of this building on the other side is where the sawmill originally was. Those are what they call the millstones. And remember that they're kind of special. And I'm putting all these holes in the floor. Have you guys ever played Shoots and Ladders, the board game? Yes. yes. That's how this whole place works. You see all these shoots going all directions in here. Chop them up into smaller pieces so we have wood for the fireplace. So usually it was one family. Sometimes. If one of the sons or daughters of the family got married, they added a section onto the house and there would be a next generation. This is not super heavy, but heavy enough. And it's cold, you know, it'll be cold and slippery. Does anybody know what this is? Yes. So they to like grab the ice and get it out. Exactly. Everybody gonna try? Put the oil in where the red fluid is in there. There's a wick in there, like in a candle. They turn it up and light, light it for the flame. So they would go and take as much 
rhubarb is they need it to make like a rhubarb cake or rhubarb cookies or maybe just rhubarb sauce. So it kind of depended on how much rhubarb there was. So this is the outhouse, it's called the two-holer. So Ooh. I'm gonna take two kids at a time. You can open the door, take a peek in, then move off to the side, and then two more at a time. There's not much room in there. Thank you. 